guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing like a come on in isolation walk with me style video. Just hey guys, so we are on our walk. Um, honestly, I'm just bored as hell sitting in the house. So I just decided, oh, let's get myself all dressed up and go for a walk on my own. I have nowhere to go. Um, I think it's starting to rain, but you know, hashtag yo though. I'm literally just probably gonna go see the water because you know basic b and and then like I don't know I'm hungry but don't have any money because you know poor basic um but yeah just kind of this is what me collected looks like but I will end up crackhead I guarantee. Okay, so literally, walking down the street, I thought there was a baby in the middle of the road, but no, it's just my dumbass seeing a paper bag. Like, nice one. Nice one. Like, that speck just up there. Yep, paper bag, not a baby. Also, like there's so many people in here, I literally feel like I'm gonna get run over by a bike or something because like that's just my look and like honestly, same. So guys, don't know if you can tell but I decided to go into the woods, well like a tiny little forest area around where I live because I was like where am I most likely to get murdered and I was like ooh a forest or woods or something and I was like oh let's do that bad idea I've literally tripped over like four twigs <sighs> for anyone else like high key missing having people to bounce crackhead energy off because like I used to be bouncing with people and now I'm just like I don't have anything to bounce crackhead energy off so I'm just like all alone like nobody to love me so many people actually feel really awkward so I've decided to switch over to my phone for a minute just because the camera's getting really heavy in my hand but like I honestly don't know what to do with my life anymore like I used to be like actually active-ish and like now I'm just all alone sitting in my room eating food all day every day okay so I am absolutely exhausted because I just ran literally up and down here like six times just to get some nice photos because I'm a bitch. Been that bitch, still that bitch. <laughs> I hate myself, honestly. Okay, so just recorded like half a rant and then realized, oh, the camera wasn't even in focus. Um, basically I was just saying like <clears throat> One, I just ran up and down like the hills I just showed you Like six times just to get the perfect picture Because you know, I'm that bitch And then two, like Why Getting deep here Why do we need to like Drag each other down so much Especially in times like this Like I'm still seeing comments on people's posts and everything Like on YouTube, on Instagram and everything like talking about like looks or like even like about their children like in a time like this we need to be united as one instead of like bringing each other down we need to be building each other up because like we don't know how long this is gonna last for all we know this could be the future for a year half a year like it's just so crazy that people are so quick to drag each other down, insult each other, make fun of each other, but as soon as it happens to them, they're crazy, like they'll go crazy about it, but they're the first to do it to somebody else, like we need to stick together as one to get through this mess because like we're not going to get through it without each other, so yeah, deep thoughts crazy how fast time goes like 
one day I could be sat here doing this and like tomorrow well what seems like tomorrow I'm graduating high school I'm deciding whether I'm going to college what college I'm going to what university I'm going to I'm deciding the rest of my life like it's just crazy to think that this time has been taken away from friends being with each other and we're all in quarantine and not seeing anybody like this was supposed to be the last year of my life where I can not think about the future and I can just think about the now but no I've got to sit inside on my own just wallowing in self-pity and just kind of think about what's to come and what's coming like I graduate in like a year and a bit and it's just crazy to think of all of this so yeah just you know more deep thoughts also has this oh my god my jeans are dirty you know first world problems so basically what I'm saying is like if you want something to think about over like this time and everything just like think about what you've always wanted to do dream and like once this is over do it because like if you wanted to make a personality change or something do it now because we've got so much time on our hands just to sit around and do nothing that we might as well make an active change in our lives and like do something that we've always wanted to do or that we'll want to do um, like I'm starting out YouTube properly because it's something I've wanted to do for a while now and I've now got time to do it I've got time to sit and properly edit videos I've got time to I've got time to do everything that I never had time to do I can you know finish that series I can like paint that picture I can dream big because I know that once this is over I have the world in my hands like the world is at my fingertips I have so much ahead of me and before this I was always thinking about the now oh what's gonna happen if this happens what's gonna happen if I do this but now I can just think you know what life's life like it passes by so quickly that we need to live in the moment and not care about what people think so yeah getting deep here if your thing for like quarantine is gonna be discovering a new artist um, I've actually got a good one for you. Um, his name's Call Me Charisma. Um, he's only a small artist, about 80,000 followers, 80 to 120,000 followers. But his music's really deep and it really makes you think. And I just love the way, I love it when music actually makes me reflect because otherwise they're just words, words to a tune. But with like songs by Youngblood or Call Me Charisma I actually feel like I can relate to the songs and I can <clears throat> like I can feel something and it's lovely to be able to feel something especially when you've been listening to artists that just don't make you feel anything like they just kind of are but with deeper songs you actually feel like there's a meaning to life and everything so yeah right guys we have literally walked like a five minute walk in like half an hour because you know I like to walk slow reflect really think actually I hate myself like oh my god cars no <laughs> Whenever I'm walking on my own, I always feel like I'm going to find a dead body. I don't know why. I think I've just watched that many NCIS episodes and like that many like criminal shows. 
I'm just focusing because I'm stepping down steps. That I just feel like I'm going to be that person that like looks in the woods and finds a body. Like, I don't know why. Why does my brain work like this? Ooh, flowers. Sorry, but how cute would I just look like in them? Like, for real. I am a flower. I am flowerful. I am gorgeous. I am a queen. Ooh, should I pick some flowers, guys? You know what I'm gonna do it anyway. They're so pretty. Like, me, you, me. Right, not trying to get copyrighted here. You, me, face to face, but we don't see flower to eye. Like, how cute. I'm not gonna pick any because I feel bad for the flowers. I'm like that, that person who's like, oh, poor flowers. But I'm out here like, ooh. Also, McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Honestly, could kill for a chicken nugget right now. Oh, might have that for tea tomorrow. Tea for anybody who isn't from the north of England is like dinner. But to us, dinner is lunch. So yeah, let's see. Oh, angles. I don't even know how this looks, let me see. Oh my god! Don't talk to me. Why am I like this? Please, why? Like, ooh. You can just see me get distracted for five minutes by birds. Right, I actually might go home now because I really need the toilet. And you are not about to catch me peeing in a bush. Because that's not how we roll here. I'm going to delete half this footage because I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, why? Why do I do this kind of thing when I'm in public but not at home? Like, should I make some TikToks? No, because that's cringe. But like, honestly, my... But like... Why? I'm just kind of like some weird kid talking to a camera, bouncing around the path because, you know, we love to bounce. I have very vivid memories of this because when I was younger, basically, me and my sister, I had a scooter, she had a bike and our parents decided to race on them so my dad comes down here on a bike, crashes into these bushes my mum comes down here on my scooter, picks up speed like major, and then here there was cycli like cyclists coming towards her. So instead of pressing the brake on the back of the scooter, she steps off it. The scooter goes flying into like these bushes, and she just goes flying across the floor like some kind of Superman or something. And like, she still has scars from it this day. But she wasn't bothered about getting hurt, she was more bothered about her sandals. Yo, I'm being crazy. I'm on rocks, in some kind of like, under a bridge. Like, next to water. It's like, the beach, but not the beach because there's no sand, or no ocean, or no like, well, nothing beachy, but like, it's not like the mountains, because, well, there's no mountain, but, like, there's rocks and spray paint. So, like, kind of like, I don't know. Honestly, I think quarantine's hitting, because, like, I still need to pee. Oh, my God. Am I going to die? Hey guys, so editing me realised that this me forgot to end the video. So if you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Um, I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, 
let me know what type of videos you you guys do want because like I'm open to anything really and yeah um don't forget to always blend out